This is my second kebab in five hours. Remember the other day when I said I wasn't gonna eat kebabs again? Yeah. I think it's a problem now. You ready? No. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Can't believe this camera works. This is amazing. I'm so glad it works a little bit. I have to be super careful. I'm whispering because baby's sleeping. Guess who is coming out with us tonight? The baby mama. <laughs> It is her husband that puts on this entire thing, so she's gotta come out for at least an hour, see everything, see all the sets. Everything that we did last night, it's like kind of like an amusement park, almost like a almost like a scary carnival kind of thing. That's where we're going to again. The B-roll is gonna start soon. Janice, you're coming out. Mom's coming out. Yes. Janice, you look like you're my age. You are my age almost, kind of. Just a little bit older. You're right, my big sister basically. Hey sis! Thanks for the ride. Even though no one's drinking tonight, so it's not like we can't drink. Mama's out with us! Hey Janice, I'm so happy you're coming out with us. Even if it's for an hour. Before I have to go home to the baby. Go do her motherly duties. <laughs> seconds like you just saw so Alex is seriously part of the DDoS squad now she doesn't give up <laughs> what she looks like on the vlog anymore good job girl hey! we converted you I don't know what's been going on but I've been having the worst allergies ever last night we were in a field of hay it was well what you just saw which is also the same footage that you saw like the last three days because all we've been doing this week is distortion life has been a party we've been <laughs> We've been partying, not sleeping that much, vlogging and editing. That's been life. And I don't know what's going on, but we were in a hay fever. Wait, what? We were in a hay field last night, and I had hay fever. How many times did I sneeze? I think you actually sneezed like 50 times. 50 times. We'd walk, and every five seconds, I'd be like, oh my god, I just turned the vlog off because I thought I was going to sneeze. No, I really need to sneeze. No, you, know. you know when people say all these things, like all these weird things, like when you're trying to get rid of your hiccup, but when you try to sneeze, like look at the sun, or like say this five times, and then turn around backwards. That stuff doesn't work. When you got to sneeze, you just got to go like this. Okay, I think I, jinx I think I jinxed myself. It's gonna go away. It's gonna come back in just a second. Last night I was sneezing the whole time. We were still dancing. <laughs> my friends love vlogging my vlogging. <laughs> Catch me on the vlog. How about that? Vlog inception. Oh, my friends love catching me vlogging. It's a great piece of entertainment for them. It's great for, for you guys. We're de right now. Sorry, I keep like, ugh, I sound like a, I just keep wiping my nose. Sorry about that. <laughs> Today! What's up, Dasso fan? What's up, vlogs? What's up, world? Uh, we're lying in bed because it's been four days of just having nonstop fun. So there's the triangle of death in this situation, right? Okay, sorry, not death. That's a little morbid. There's just a triangle of your life. Of my life. Sorry, not your life. My life. Maybe it's your life. I don't know. Tell me. Comment below. There's sleep on one end. Then there's vlogging and editing. There's just sleep, YouTube, and have fun. And one of them is always being sacrificed. So most of the time, it's sleep that's being sacrificed and it's having fun and vlogging. I don't know if that made sense. But maybe maybe if I try to stop using iMovie because I use iMovie Maybe if I try to use Adobe Premiere or Final Cut I can actually draw cool things because iMovie it's a great editor for all beginners But I've been using it for way too long and I think I need to upgrade That's what I use all of you guys were always asking questions. What editor do you use? I'm always using iMovie once a daily vlog stops and I take like a week break and just move to 
Adobe Premiere. So anyway, what are we doing today, Alex? We are gonna watch House of Cards because I don't want any spoilers and I don't want to get on social media because I don't want to know anything. And I can't, I have to be on social media because that's part of my job. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. We're gonna watch the House of Cards. We're gonna buy Janice groceries and try and help feed her babies so they don't die. And then we're gonna, ooh, Alex has been on Tinder. She's had some really, really funny instances so far. <laughs> I wish we could share with you one of the text messages that she received from a Tinder guy who she's never even met because you don't meet people on Tinder. I mean, right, like you text them. And I don't know, I wouldn't know because I have a Tinder account, but I've never used it, never met up with a person. My Tinder account was actually downloaded by a guy that I'm actually interested in because he wanted to help me <laughs> market myself via Instagram. So shout out to you for helping me out. So we got House of Cards, we got cleaning, we got groceries, we got relaxing because it is Sunday and you already know that means this. And you guys, this is my camera. This camera right now that I'm using, this is the f***ed up camera that I f***ed up yesterday that got up. You know what? Swearing's good for you every once in a while. I'm really scared that this camera's just gonna drop on my face and break my nose. Anyway, I gotta get rid of these allergies. I have severe, severe hay fever, severe pollen allergies. What are we gonna do? Sushi. I got that hour and a half nap in. As you can tell, it looks like I just woke up. I feel like every time I'm vlogging now, I'm just waking up. But we're all good. Can you see a little sneak peek of my flash tattoo? You need these flash tattoos for every festival, right? Am I right, girls? Clavicle on point right now. Anyway. It's Sunday, relaxing, gotta finish some work, all that stuff. I'm looking at my Why I Don't Wear a Bra video. It's at 1,482,000. And of course, I've been monitoring all the comments because you already know when you have a viral video, all of the weird, curvy, in Tagalog we like to say, maniacus come out. It's amazing to me the type of people who go behind their computer screens and like to comment the most disgusting, perverted comments that I've ever read in my entire life and actually think that I'm going to allow that to be posted because obviously, I keep certain comments with like really bad words that I'm not gonna say right now but really gross perverted words to be held in review What is the human mind is so interesting to me? What kind of environment do you have to be raised in to think that it's okay or to think that your perverted? Disgusting comment should be on YouTube. You should have a strong opinion I mean, it's a free world I suppose but you should have a strong opinion about some disgusting comment that has to do with just the the worst thing you can do to a woman has to be put on YouTube and you think that's okay Like what kind of environment are people raised in? What is behind the human brain that allows people to think that stuff like that should totally be put out there and totally be okay? I don't get it. The human brain is the most twisted dark Just some people are just never gonna find the light They're just dark torment of alleyways in their head people sometimes ask like why youtubers or people with influences delete comments. It's because there's something called crab mentality crab mentality is this Say you go to a YouTube video and you watch a video and you're like, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. I don't really know if I like this. And then you go into the comments and all of a sudden you see a comment that's like, this person is the most annoying person ever. I can't believe what they said. And all of a sudden it tweaks something in your brain where it's like, hey, wait, maybe I agree with that person. Yeah, what he said. And then you comment because you read someone else's comment and all of a sudden you like agree with their negativity. Negativity is contagious, guys. Always remember that. Now in your brain you agreed with it and you want to comment again, something to add on to this negative comment. That is why we delete these bad comments to get crab mentality out of there. So I've been monitoring this viral video. My parents don't have access to delete the comments so of course my mom and dad get they get pretty riled up when they see like disgusting perverted comment and I like to not have them see things that people say they want to do to my body or other things like that. So here's the thing. I was like, why did this video go viral? It's great that it went viral because it's a great message to all women out there and to all guys. But really, it was targeted towards women to feel more strong and independent and powerful. That's the baby screaming, by the way. She's the cutest thing ever. But since I posted that video, I went to check into my YouTube stats. And before I posted that video, the male-female ratio of my stats were almost equal, like 49% male, 51% female. Since I posted that video, the male went to 79% and the women just dropped. That's so weird because that video was basically meant for women to watch, but that just shows how interested men are about girls not wearing bras. My God. And then I went into YouTube and I typed in bra just to see the kind of hits that videos with the word bra get. Millions of you. There's just, hold on, let me show you. <laughs> 
first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first seven videos have like millions and millions of views, and it's just what this girl did when she took off her bra. She forgot to put on a bra. Hot female celebs who never wear bra. Let's talk about bras. Like, what is up with just having the word bra in it get millions of views? It's just, I know that not, those millions of views are probably not women searching bra. Who doesn't wear a bra? Why, why don't you wear a bra? I'm just saying that based on my video, why I don't wear a bra, because I can see the stats, and I can see how many guys watched it versus how many girls. It's just really amusing to me, like, how many guys go on the internet and try and search girls without wearing bras, or just girls, I don't know, whatever. The whole video itself was not really about why I don't wear a bra. It was more so talking about female empowerment and independence and all that stuff. The other thing is, I didn't get one bad comment from a female. Most of the bad comments that I got were, okay, way too inappropriate for me to even, to even tell you, but none of the bad comments were from female. It was all just gross, perverted comments so gross that they should be contaminated and disinfected. But guess what fam? We're good. We're good. You know why? Because that video went viral so I'm all good. I almost should say thank you to all the haters because that video was about how the haters just pushed me to the edge and I needed to make a video that went viral. So woo, we're good. Alright, I gotta go eat. We tried watching House of Cards. Passed out immediately. Baby sleeping one of those evenings. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog right now because I'm gonna go back to sleep. So much sleep feels so good and it's so rare. Remember I was talking about the triangle of life this today. I'm, the triangle of life is focusing on sleeping. Less vlogging and less having fun. Well, I guess eating sushi is having fun. We got a beautiful dinner of sushi right here. All right, you guys, the vlog is ending right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Catch me tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all already know. <laughs> you already know. So